Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Work Productions here with a tutorial. In this tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you how to take your 3D looking text from Cinema 4D and throw that into Photoshop so you can make some sweet or sexy looking backgrounds or logos or watermarks or whatnot. So, I'm in Cinema 4D right now, so let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just go up to the render settings by clicking on this button right here and going to output. I'm um, going to click on this little arrow, left click it, and go to film slash video, and go to the HDV HDTV 720 by 29.97. Click on that, and then X out. The main reason why I do that is because, as you can see, it gives you more room to work with. Okay, so let's just uh, let's add the text by going to MoGraph and then going to Text Object. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna pretty much use just a basic text. Uh, I'm not gonna add any special effects or anything. But anyways, I will switch the what the text says by going to this right here, highlighting it and putting work and okay and I, I guess I can switch the um, the font by going to font and going to the font with the three dots after that click on that and I'll just use uh, they have a pretty cool looking graffiti looking text I'm trying to find if not it's whatever um, yeah right here alright so after you found the text that you want to use press ok so I got something that looks like that so now as you can see I got 3d text but it looks kind of plain so I'm just going to add a real quick color by left click I mean not left, yeah left clicking on this open panel right here double left clicking uh, you can see that there's going to be this new ball that pops up this is a material uh, left click on that ball double left click and this window should pop up. Um, the color, make sure that's check marked, and make sure you're on the color like that. Make sure that's chosen, and click right here. And then all you have to do is just find a color that you want. Um, I don't know. I guess I just use a green. Press OK when you found the color. Uh, you can also mess with some of these color effects such as reflection um, make sure if you're going to use it make sure it's check marked or and let, uh, or it won't show if it's not check marked okay uh, reflection I'm going to drag the brightness down a little bit because that's 100 it's a little too high I'll drag it down to 30 um, and I'm just gonna leave the rest how it is but if you guys want you guys could go check them out and once you've done that just X that out and left click and just drag the ball, the green ball, whatever color ball you have, to the text like such. So now I've gotten some 3D looking text. This is okay, like that. Um, if you want, you can add some lighting. So to add light, just go to this little white blob, I guess you can call it. Um, left click, go to light, and the reason you would add light is to give it a more sexier looking look, I guess. Um, so I just dragged, I just uh, brought one in the Cinema 4D, and then I just did another one, and yeah, so just like this. And I normally like a light at the top, so I'm just going to drag that up and center that a little bit but yeah anyways you really don't need lighting if you don't want it so if that part kind of confused you guys don't worry you don't need it I'm sorry but yeah anyways yeah so now I got that 3D looking text and okay so after you've gotten the text that you want just go back to the render settings by clicking on the same icon we clicked earlier in this video and go to general make sure the render engine is at full render 
The output should already be 12A by 720, resolution 72. For the save, uh, click on these three dots right here. I normally like to save stuff to my desktop, but you can save it wherever. And for the file name, name it uh, 3D text or whatever. Uh, save as type, just leave it at all files, and then hit save. The format, this is probably the most important part. Uh, the format, make sure it is on PNG, like that. Um, e and, okay, that's good, that's good. Alpha channel, make sure that is checked. Okay, multi-pass, um, make sure it's checked. And for separate lights, uh, just actually, you can leave that none. But actually, you don't even have to check that, never mind, guys. Uh, and anti alacenine I probably pronounced that completely wrong, but... It's the thing that starts with anti, and make sure the anti right up here. Oh, it's anti analyzing. Anyways, make sure the it's at best right there. Uh, filter you can leave that at still image, and um, you can click on the effects tab right here, and you can add the where is it? Um, ambient occlusion right here uh, that gives it a nicer looking look so I like to add that effect and that's normally the only effect I add so ambient occlusion and before you exit out go to output again or yeah output and for the frame range it should be a current frame um, just do uh, the first frame I guess and yep make sure it's from one frame to one frame so it's just a picture not an intro Oop. okay and after you've gotten all that just X that out and yeah hit this little render button up here click on it oh, there we go so this this renders uh, I guess that can um just say what's up guys, uh, how's life been for you, it's been pretty good for me, and uh, yeah, alright guys, it's done, so I'm just gonna go to my desktop, and as you can see the text is right here, when I open that up, you can see it, and now I'm gonna open up my Photoshop, Let this load a little bit. Okay. Adobe Photoshop CS5 is what I'm using in this video, but you can use any Photoshop. And after you've done that, just go to File, New. Um, you know, use whatever size file, I mean, not size file, but size project you want to use. Hit OK. And. Go to file import. Uh, not file import. You can you can go to file import, or you can just do it the easier way by going to the desktop and just dragging it in the Photoshop like that. And yeah, as you guys can see, I got the 3D looking text in the Photoshop, so I can just move that around. Oh, Move that around, there we go. Move that around to wherever I want. I can shrink the size. And yeah, it's uh that's about it guys. I want to thank you for watching. If anything was confusing, uh, feel free to comment, send me a message, or uh check out my website that I'm gonna be making soon. Um yeah, and just contact me there if you guys want. Anyways, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.